After affirmative construction and cross-examination, I'll be arguing negatively for the resolution of the United States federal government increasing its development of the Earth's moon in one or more of the following areas, energy, minerals, and or water. This is a bad idea in my opinion because of the three following points. The development of the moon will be too slow, too expensive, and too conflicting for the Earth's nations. My first point is that developing the moon will take too much time. My opponent stated earlier that we need a safe haven for humanity and that a small population can survive and thrive on the moon through terraforming. However, what we did not get to hear was how the process of terraforming is not one rapidly completed. According to Kevin Bonser, the initial stages of terraforming a celestial body like the moon or Mars could take several decades or centuries. Terraforming an entire planet into an Earth-like habitat would have to be done over several millennia. We don't have that much time at all. Looking at the deep past, correlating CO2 levels with temperature and sea rise has been used as evidence of a near-term human extinction. There's a 40-year lag in the consequences of emissions and temperature rise, and we're locked into consequences with a 0.8 degrees Celsius current temperature increase resulting from 40 years ago. In the last 29 years, we've seen a greater increase in CO2 emissions than in the last 100 years. Using this information provided from Guy McPherson, we can conclude that this could be a near-term human extinction on the planet. And this isn't even in the scale of centuries or millennia. This is just decades, just several years. We don't have enough time to invest in several hundreds of thousands of years to create a safe haven for the people of Earth to escape in the event of a global extinction. We would need a faster alternative to ensure a long future for humanity, as my opponent previously stated. My second point is that developing the moon will be too expensive. Let's take a moment to consider all of the work that would go into development of the moon in mining minerals and retrieving rocks, ice, etc. The gravitational acceleration changes from 9.8 meters per second squared to 1.6 meters per second squared when we go from the Earth to the Moon. This has a drastic effect on excavation. Gravity creates traction for the tires on large moving um, trucks, which is required during digging or as a counterweight to keep equipment from toppling over. In order to achieve the same amount of digging force or ballast weight on the Moon, a mass six times of that on the Earth is needed. This creates an immediate dilemma as the cost of transporting conventional equipment to the moon would be, as analysts suggest, prohibitively expensive. One kilogram delivered to the moon costs today approximately $25,000. So a small 3.3 meter long skid steer loader with a earthly weight of 2,500 kilograms would need to weigh 15,000 kilograms at launch, and this would lead to a transportation cost of $375 million. That's not even considering all the trucks that we would need to take up to the moon to move the soil around, too. All of the aforementioned information can be credited to Leonard Bernald, Associate Professor of Engineering at UNSW Australia. According to Popular Mechanics, the total estimated cost for fusion development, rocket development, and starting lunar operations would be about $15 billion. The International Thermonuclear Reactor Project, with a current estimated cost of $10 billion for a proof-of-concept reactor, is just a small part of the necessary development of tritium-based fusion and does not include the problems of commercialization and waste disposal. These are more outrageously expensive funds needed to complete the project. We don't have enough money in America to be throwing around hundreds of billions of dollars on retrieving minerals and ice from the moon. We can make them synthetically here. Lastly, my point is that development of the moon opens doors to conflict. In my opponent's speech, he declared that other countries such as China and Russia are starting to lead in space exploration and that we need to stay first in order to have an upper hand. This is a nice idea in theory of nationalistic pride and American ego, but in reality it presents a catalyst for conflict. The idea of mining the moon raises some serious questions, such as, is it even legal to mine the moon? 
the United Nations Outer Space Treaty of 1967 is a set of guiding principles for nations to follow regarding space exploration and provides that exploration of space should be carried out for the interest of all countries and no country can claim territorial rights in outer space. It's everybody's property. However, the treaty does specify that states shall be responsible for space activities carried out by government and non-government organizations. Lauren Ferrer claims that Bob Richards, who is the CEO and co-founder of Moon Express, says he believes that anybody has the right to use the moon as long as they don't claim it for themselves. He says that Moon Express, his company, will only claim the resources that it has mined Again, this is nice in theory, but in all reality, one country can't be satisfied with sharing the moon with the rest of us after they've conquested the development of it first. They were the first ones to do it. They're going to want to take it over. It's a known fact dating all the way back to the beginning of the world, the very earliest civilizations, that claiming territory is a sign of establishing dominance. And what better way to establish global dominance than to steal the moon? If you own the treasure cat smile in the sky, you've established a pretty good form of dominance. Developing the moon and trying to get minerals such as ice and... Um, helium-3 and other things that my opponent hadn't spoken about earlier would really just cause more problems than it would help. I think that it would be a bad idea because of my three main points, and I think that the resources that we could retrieve from the moon could be just as easily manufactured in places on Earth.